Laker. Well, why is there water everywhere? Apparently, the main water shut off didn't exactly get shut off. Okay, at what point did you realize you're not a plumber and you need to call Mike Scott Plumbing? Right about the time we had the flood and the fire all at the same time. And when should you have called the professionals at Mike Scott Plumbing? Uh, That's man. what I thought. Does water run through it? Then they do it, not you. And don't give me the weekend excuse. You know they don't charge extra for nights, weekends, or holidays. Do you need the number? No, no, I got it. 237 2888. Again. 237 2888. Why'd you call Cousin Sean anyway? You know he can't even fix his own lunch. On next week's episode of What Not to Do. Oh, come on, a monster truck? Much like the weather, your life could change at the drop of a hat. Don't be caught unprepared. You don't know what'll happen tomorrow. But no matter what happens, you can make sure that your loved ones are provided for with a life insurance policy from Auto Owners Insurance. Meet with a local independent agent and secure a policy now to rest easy, knowing you're protecting the ones you love. Visit George Mangan Insurance in Ocala today at www.menganinsurance.com. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. And my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line and a new spoiler and a new Yep, and we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Guy Harvey Checking is now exclusively available at Gateway Bank. With Guy Harvey Checking, you will receive Gateway's premium checking account, plus several other Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation features, including membership to the Guy Harvey Hammerhead Nation, free Guy Harvey t-shirt, and an exclusive Guy Harvey debit card. At Gateway Bank, we will make a $50 donation to the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation for every new account open. This is just one more reason why people choose Gateway Bank. Sign up today for your exclusive Guy Harvey Checking account with Gateway. Details available at gatewaybankcfl.com, member FDIC. Real estate is the largest and most personal investment that any of us will ever make. Be sure to tune in Tuesdays at 10 a.m. when Bob Kennedy, owner of Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty, will be answering your questions and discussing real estate. So remember, that's Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Call 622-9622 with your questions. It pays to be an informed buyer or seller. This is news you can use from Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty and your friends here at WOCA. program. An Indian bride reportedly swapped her groom for a wedding guest mid-ceremony after her fiancé had an epileptic seizure. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> it's kind of a fun story, too, because the, uh, the groom-to-be has this epileptic seizure. They take him to the hospital. He comes back. She just married one of his friends. <laughs> so he's so like, uh, um, <laughs> what happened? Wait here, a minute. I, <laughs> I can't buy hey, that. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> Just saying, snooze, you lose. And a fight, if, if the, the a fight broke out, and then they wound up resolving it peacefully. She's just married to somebody else now. <laughs> oh, it's a great story. Back in just a second. Don't miss a morsel of truth. Sign up for the free newsletter at glenbeck.com. The Glenn Beck program returns in minutes. The Blaze Radio Network. You know that online marketing is critical to growing your business. But where do you start? You might know a tech-savvy person, but online marketing really is much more than just building a website. Getting found online is complex, challenging, and always changing. That's why you need YP. Starting as the Yellow Pages over 100 years ago, they're the largest marketing agency for local businesses in America, with over 80 million potential customers searching YP.com and the YP app every single month. YP can help you with marketing services from web design to search engine marketing. YP P. It's going to measure your company's health online, from accuracy of your business information to how hard it is for customers to find you across the online directories and search sites such as Google, YP, Yahoo, and dozens more. Potential customers are searching for you. 
But what if they can't find you? Start with your free business scan. Visit MyFreeYP.com. That's MyFreeYP.com. MyFreeYP.com. Hall of Fame driver Richard Petty for Blue Emu. Maintenance is important. To help me keep feeling my best, I use odor-free Blue Emu made with real emu oil. Blue Emu Continuous Pain Relief Spray has an active ingredient to relieve the aches and pains of my muscles and joints. And it's perfect for hard-to-reach places. Hey, even us precision machines need a little help sometimes. Use what I use. Blue Emu. It works fast and you won't stink. Blue Emu. Available at Walmart, Walgreens, Rite Aid, and other fine stores. The Smarter Way to Manage Business Expenses. Presented by... Concur. After my conference, I checked out of the hotel and the bill was automatically added to my expense report. Then I hopped into a taxi. I snapped a photo of the receipt using Concur and bam, there it was on my expense report. Then I used my corporate card to buy the client's lunch. Another charge added to my expense report. Expense reports that write themselves. Just one of the many ways Concur helps manage your company's spend so you can focus on the big picture. Take a free test drive today at tryconcur.com. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. And my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line, a new spoiler, and a new Yep, and we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. Scores of people are being tested for exposure to a superbug in Los Angeles where medical experts are grappling with an outbreak believed to have killed two people. UCLA discovered the outbreak late last month while running tests on a patient. That's when they realized a specialized endoscope, one that's inserted down the throats of nearly half a million patients every year, may have transferred the CRE bacteria from patient to patient. Fox's Will Card, the CDC, says most healthy people are not at risk. Third day of defense testimony in the American sniper murder trial attorney has been calling friends and family members. Wednesday, jurors heard from the ex-girlfriend of Eddie Ray Routh, who said Routh behaved erratically in the months before he shot and killed U.S. Navy SEAL Chris Kyle and his friend enduring spates of silence, staring at the walls, and even frantic moments in which he was convinced he would die. Fox Radio's Evan Brown. Fox News. We report. You decide. It is time to refresh and renew for 2015 at thecompanystore.com. Our semi-annual white sale is going on now. From our famous lacrosse down comforters and pillows to the finest quality sheets, towels, and bedding basics, receive 20% off your entire order, free shipping, and up to 70% off clearance items when you enter code RADIO15. That's RADIO15 for up to 70% off and free shipping. Thecompanystore.com, where quality has been known for generations. Thecompanystore.com, we're all about comfort. What's the secret to great business trips? Choice Hotels, where you'll find everything a business traveler needs, like a generous rewards program. And right now, choose Choice twice for two separate trips and get a night at no price. Stay for business at Choice Hotels and book now at choicehotels.com. Great endings begin here. Free night based on an 8,000-point Choice Privileges Reward Night at over 1,500 hotels. Valid 219.15 through 422.15. Requires registration and two separate qualifying stays. Other terms and conditions apply. Details at choicehotels.com. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OcalaForSale.com, Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OcalaForSale.com. Prices and inventory change daily. Offered is not include dealer upcharge. Undercutting rust proofing factory surcharge or delivery fee. See website for details. 
Do you have areas that have started sagging or drooping? Is what you're looking at not quite the same as it was years ago? Are there enhancements you've been putting off? Is there serious damage you need fixed? Then call on us, Damage Control Services. When your roof is sagging and the drywall is drooping after a storm, or your home just needs some enhancements, from damage repairs to new construction, Damage Control Services is here to help. I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Weekends are getting a little retool. Swear to God, not making a joke. Check this out. New shows? Check. We are Buckwars. Some new talent? Check. Let's welcome the guys. Let's get it going. Arnie Spanier. Unbelievable. TJ Reeves. This is what you get. <laughs> Your weekends are on fire. Because that's how exotic it is. We are Buckwars. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. Are you tired of not using your home's outdoor space for entertaining or relaxation because of all the bugs and leaves? Consider adding a beautiful screen room or glass enclosure. We are Superior Aluminum and Design, a family-owned and operated business with 20 years' experience in the aluminum industry. And we are accredited by the Better Business Bureau. If you appreciate superior workmanship, call Superior Aluminum and Design at 817-8058 or visit us on the web at superioraluminumdesign.com. Hi, my name is Dr. Erica Alstein with A Better You Healthcare Acupuncture and Eastern Medicine. As primary care physicians, we use acupuncture to treat back pain, arthritis, migraines, allergies, high blood pressure, thyroid disorders, hormone imbalances, stress, and more using all natural medical therapies. We treat the source of your problems, not just your symptoms. For more information, go to abetteryouhealthcare.com or call today to set up your appointment, 352-615-5566. of entertainment and enlightenment. This is the Glenn Beck Program. Welcome to the program. Senator Rand Paul is joining us. We're excited to have him on. He was supposed to be on yesterday. There was a scheduling conflict and a misunderstanding, and uh, so we missed him yesterday. But we're glad to have him on today to respond to an article that was in Politico uh, that I think was a massive hatchet job uh, on him on in, in many ways. But they 
they bring up a lot of points that unless you're really well versed in the Fed, you might look at this and say, well, gosh, I don't know who to believe because this all makes sense. Maybe Rand Paul is lying. Um, but they bring up very specific points that he should be able to answer. And if he can answer them, then we know that it was an absolute hatchet job and only makes his case stronger. And we see the game that is being played. Welcome to the program, Senator Rand Paul. How are you, sir? Good morning, Glenn. Thanks for having me. You bet. Um, so, Senator, I, I want to talk to you a little bit about the uh, the political article, but I really want, how much time do we have with you? Oh, a couple hours, whatever you need. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, oh, I want to just kind of go over uh, exactly what they said so you can explain it, because you're an expert on the Fed, I mean, you know, uh, relatively speaking, um, and they bring up a lot of points that somebody like me looks at and goes, well, gee, that kind of makes sense. I mean, what's Rand talking about? So let's go over these point by point. Um, they say uh, the Fed has five, uh, $4.5 trillion in assets, mostly treasury bonds, mortgage-backed securities, guaranteed by the federal government. It only has $57 billion in equity because it spends most of its pro- sends most of its profits to the U.S. Treasury, a total of around $500 billion over the past decade. So it actually has no leverage in the traditional sense of the word, that meaning debt, because it doesn't borrow money like Lehman Brothers before it went bankrupt. <laughs> It kind of makes me laugh a little bit, Glenn. They don't borrow money. They just create it. So they've bought, like during the last several years, they bought trillions of dollars of assets. And you say, well, an asset should be good, right, to have an asset. Well, they create the money to buy the asset. So on the liability side of ledger, they have almost the same amount of liabilities, but they didn't borrow the money from someone. They didn't go out and work and earn it. They just created a computer entry to pay the banks for these assets. And the question and the point I've been making is, who did they buy these things from and what did they pay for them? So, for example, let's say I'm the chairman of the Fed and my brother owns a bank. Should the American public know if I buy my brother's bank and I pay 100% value when maybe it was only worth 10%? The whole idea, you know, during this crisis was that they forced private industry to mark to market, meaning you had to immediately discount what your company was worth if it was losing value, whether you were selling it or not. The Fed doesn't do the same thing. The Fed has $4.5 trillion worth of so-called assets. We don't know what they are. We don't know what they're worth, what they paid for them, and are they marking them to market? And what would happen to the Fed and to the country if they were to mark them to market? You said, they said in your op-ed, you claim that the Fed has $4.5 trillion in liabilities, not assets, and $57 billion in equity. Donald Cohn, the former vice chair, says there's essentially no credit risk on the Federal Reserve's balance sheet right now. I don't know of any institution in the United States that is subject to more oversight than the Fed. Well, you know, when they say there's no credit risk, they created $4.5 trillion to buy these bad mortgages. So is there no risk in creating? I mean, if it's a great thing, you know, they brag that they made $500 billion or whatever they made in interest over the last 10 years. Well, if it's good, why not, do, why not create more money? So if they bought $4.5 trillion worth of assets by printing up money or, or by a computer entry, why not create, oh, I don't know, $9 trillion worth, and they can double their so-called profit? See, the, it's sort of like the emperor has no clothes. When people finally discover that, yeah, they have a profit, but their profit is made by creating money out of thin air or creating a computer entry and buying stuff. But then there's a whole question of favoritism. Is there any conflict of interest? Are any of these assets, so-called assets, which are sometimes bad car loans, bad home loans, are any of these assets owned by friends of theirs? You know, for about the last two decades, there's been a revolving door between the Fed, the Treasury, and Wall Street again. Right. And I frankly live in flyover America, and I'm tired of paying for it. I'm tired of bailing out these big banks when they make bad decisions. I think you're being rude to Lehman Brothers by comparing them to Lehman Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so here's the uh, political problem number one. They say problems with your bill. Problem number one. The article says the bank's finances are already subject to an audit by the GAO, the Government Accountability okay. Office, the Federal Inspectors General, um, and outside audit firms. Here's, the, here's There's a really great exchange, and your, your staff can find this. There was a committee hearing. And a congressman asked the auditor, they brought the auditor before the committee, they, he asked the auditor during the crisis, you know, it was like 
four or five, six, seven trillion dollars and had it changed hands. I think the question of the point was, do you know what was purchased with the two trillion dollars? And the auditor says, oh, we're not allowed to audit federal bank reserve activities. So the auditor has no idea what they purchased. So really, I don't think that's a real audit. What we have is a bunch of fake audits, and the fake audits don't reveal any of the information we want to know. We want to know who are they buying the stuff from, what are they paying for it, are they paying a fair market rate, or because it's somebody's brother-in-law, they're actually paying more for something than it's actually worth. You know, if your home was worth 150000 and that's the mortgage on it, but the market drops by a third, um, should the Federal Reserve be able to buy that at 150000 And what if it's their brother-in-law? What if it's their cousin? We don't know any of that, so we don't really have an audit. And it really is appalling that something that Congress creates is such an enormous creature, a, a, a creature that creates its own money, is now lobbying government. They should be forbidden from lobbying government and forbidden from trying to influence legislation. I think it's appalling that they're trying to stop uh, any oversight of the, of the Federal Reserve. Well, they're saying, again, back to the article, those interested in what is on the Fed's balance sheet can actually find out down to the individual bond on the website of the New York Federal Reserve. I think that that's true and untrue at the same time. There are lists of what their assets are, but they aren't uh, individualized. You can't tell who they bought them from. You can't tell whether they were bought at fair market price or whether they were bought at a haircut and whether or not there were any uh, conflicts of interest in the buying and selling. I mean, Bear Stearns is bailed out and Lehman Brothers isn't. Does that have anything to do with who run the banks or who owned the banks? I mean, these are questions that, you know, the bank was created by Congress. So they talk all the time about independence from Congress. Well, no, Congress created the bank. Congress should be the one overseeing the bank. The independence we need is independence from the executive branch. The executive branch is always meddling in the Fed, and I frankly think that we need to uh, break up some of the, uh, you know, of the, I guess, intermingling of policy between Treasury and Fed and have more congressional oversight on what's going on. Uh, let me. This kind of goes right into problem number three. They say critics of the bill say that it is aimed much more directly at repealing a 1978 law establishing Fed independence on monetary policy decisions. Paul's bill, though vaguely written, would likely allow the GAO to investigate monetary policy policy actions and report back to Congress immediately. You know, it's just a look back provision. It's a actually a one time audit that looks back at the end of the year. And we think it would be a good idea. And basically what the bill does is it repeals prohibitions against auditing. So when they say they're being audited, there's there's four prohibitions that prevent full audits from occurring. All we do is repeal the prohibitions on full audits. And I think most American people have a little bit of worry. We went through where people making $100 million a year on Wall Street uh, ran their banks into the ground by poor decisions, buying derivatives and doing all this crazy trading. And then what happens is those people don't miss a beat, and the next year they're making $100 million. But there's a lot of us that live in middle America who are struggling. When we talk about the middle class still struggling and the rich getting richer, some of us want to know what the Federal Reserve's doing and whether they're bailing out their wealthy friends or and, and what are the consequences for the rest of us in middle America. Um, uh, just off the subject here for a second, um, have you seen the uh, the documentary Money for Nothing? I think so, or I've seen bits of it. Yeah, it's it's really good. If if you happen to be listening and you want to know anything about the history of the Fed and uh, what some of the things is uh, that Senator Rand Paul is talking about, r- r- uh, watch this. You can find it on Netflix. It's from Liberty Street Films, and it's called Money for Nothing. And it's about the Fed and, quite honestly, many of the problems that they have caused. And part of it is because of this 1978 uh, bill where they, they were also charged with and, and this, to me, makes so much sense. They were charged with um, uh, also worrying now about not just inflation, but uh, the unemployment numbers. And so now the balance is, do we care? Does do, do the people care more about inflation or do the people care more about the unemployment numbers? And so it's become wildly politicized and you can't serve both of those masters. And right now we're printing up the money because they're not concerned about inflation and the pressure is get the economy moving, get the jobs created, and they're going to destroy our monetary base. 
And here's but one other thing, Glenn. In the crisis in 2008, there are reports the Fed bought $3 trillion worth of foreign banks, foreign bank securities. So really, we now have a bank created by Congress that is actually buying foreign banks and buying foreign debt. Mm. And uh, that's really concerning that this all goes on in secret even after the fact. They don't want to tell us after the fact what they did. And uh, it's very concerning, and it's too much power to have gravitated into one sort of secretive bank. And uh, I think most Americans would like to see it audited. If you look at polling data on it or you look at the votes, in the House, every Republican voted for this and 100 Democrats. It got 350 votes in the House twice now. And yet uh, now the Fed has got an all-out onslaught and push against this. And it should worry people that a, that a an individual a bank that has a monopoly privilege granted to it by Congress is able to print up money to lobby uh, against legislation that would cause more oversight. That should worry all of us. Uh, real quick, I have two other things that just just re- I think just need a quick comment on. One of them was kind of a smear, I think, on you. They um, uh, the whole piece was a smear, but this one they just talked about how you were on my show in 2011, and you said I worry about the Weimar Republic. I worry about 1923 in Germany when they were destroyed the currency when they elected Hitler. I don't want something like that to happen in on our country. They're trying to make you sound like a nut job by saying that we could have hyperinflation. Do you stand by that worry? Well, I think the question they have to answer to the American people is that if you create a computer entry for $4.5 trillion and you buy a bunch of stuff with it, is it really – it's sort of like the emperor has no clothes. They go around the world saying we're such a great and productive bank. We have all this profit. We created $4.5 trillion worth of money. We bought some assets that bear interest, and so we're making money, and it's like – Wow, that's great. Make more money then. Is there no limit? And this is a question we should ask. Is there no limit to the amount of money that the Fed can create? And is there all, at some point in time, some ramifications? In Germany, it was hyperinflation. Right now, some of what they're doing is actually worries people in the opposite direction because yes. all of this money that's being created, the Fed buys stuff from the banks, distressed assets often from the banks, but then the banks put it right back in the Fed and it doesn't get out into the system, and then the Fed pays them interest, which is a relatively new phenomenon. But as a consequence, there's an enormous amount of money piling up. The banks are getting richer who are making, you know, they're only making a quarter of a point of interest, but if you give some banks billions of dollars for assets that weren't worth much, and then they're able to make easy money on it, is that really fair to the rest of the country that's struggling? The, uh, the last point in the article, they say, this is only you, You don't believe any of this. You are smarter than this. You know that anybody can see there's no use to the audit, and you're just playing to a dumb conservative or libertarian base. Well, that sounds like the people who call us fly over America. They don't, uh, they discount any uh, knowledge, but they also discount any true belief and worry about our country. I think the one sincere thing that came out of the Tea Party movement and that it still exists in this country is that there are millions of us that are worried about the future of the country. We're worried about the enormous debt we are incurring. We're worried about the ramifications of the Federal Reserve simply creating money to pay for that debt. And yeah, I'm I am very sincere in this. I do none of this uh for for gamesmanship. I am very concerned about the future of the country. Does that mean I think it's gonna end tomorrow in a Weimar uh, republic type inflation. Nobody no. knows the future and when things will happen or if they will even happen. But I am concerned about a bank that creates trillions of dollars of money, buys up distressed assets and then says, Hey, look how profitable we are. Last question on a different uh, topic. Uh, the FCC net neutrality. Um, we are so against net neutrality. Um, there's a lot of confusion on this. A lot of people that just, I think, don't know what they're doing and don't know that they're in bed with Marxists. Um, I think this is, this is a killer of the economy and a killer of freedom of speech. Is it going to pass? You know, I think it won't get to the legislature. The thing is, is that, like everything else, the president's doing it by executive fiat. And I tell people this is the biggest worry in our country right now, is that the president's usurpation of power, the collapse of the separation of power, the checks and balances that our founders gave us, 
Net neutrality is one example of it. Amending Obamacare is another. Immigration is another. And then even the war powers, going to war without Congress voting. All of these things uh, are leading to an extraordinarily strong president, and uh, that's uh, bad for the republic. Are we? Are Can you stop net neutrality if the FCC takes it on? Will you stop net neutrality? Actually, we might be able to. We couldn't when the Democrats were in charge, but it, there is a special rule called the Congressional Review Act, and by a simple majority in the House or the Senate, we can overturn a regulation when it comes forward. The only downside is is that it would still have to be signed by the president. But I think we can actually, in both houses, muster enough numbers to overcome any terrible regulations that he does now. But the difficulty will be that it still has to be signed by him, which he's unlikely to do. Mm-hmm. Senator Rand Paul, I thank you so much, and thanks for clearing this up. I I, uh, I stand by. I think this was a bad smear job, and by desperate, desperate people, and we wish you all the best. Thanks, Glenn. Thank you. Senator Rand Paul. Sponsor this half hour is Goldline. Uh, if you happen to agree with anything that the senator just said about the Treasury and the Fed, um, uh, and, and again, what he said was, nobody knows how this is going to end. We just know from history on how it's ended every other time. But if, uh, I mean, he brings up a really good point. If this was good, why not print $10 trillion? Why not print $100 trillion? Why not just give everybody, uh, you know, $100 million each? Why not? Because it doesn't work, and they know that. They're playing with funny money. And that, unfortunately, that funny money is in your bank. Uh, That's what you're paid with. And your inflation is going up. You know it every time you go into the supermarket. That's a direct result of devaluing of our dollar. So, what do you do? Gold or silver is always the benchmark. It's always the, 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 the um, uh, place of last resort. Call now, Goldline, and find out if it's right for you. And if you think you can't get started because it's, I can't afford it, I've asked them specifically, could you start a program just for people who just don't have the money to really get involved at $100 a month? I'm trying to find a way that everybody can be helped. If you want the help, if you believe that gold or silver is right for you, call them, read the important risk information, and find out for sure. And then no matter what price range you're in, you can get started. Call 1-866-GOLDLINE, 1-866-GOLDLINE, or goldline.com. Got something to say? 888-727-BECK. Dial in and let it out. The Blaze Radio Network. Private mortgage insurance, or PMI, can cost you thousands. But with the PMI Advantage from Quicken Loans, you may never have to pay those expensive monthly mortgage insurance premiums again. Hi, I'm Jay Farner, president of Quicken Loans, and I'm excited to tell you that the Quicken Loans PMI Advantage is our lender-paid mortgage insurance program. You see, we pay the PMI so you don't have to. Make the smart call and talk to one of our home loan experts today at 800-QUICKEN. You'll learn how the Quicken Loans PMI Advantage can give you more options, more flexibility, and may save you thousands when you refinance. And for five years in a row now, J.D. Power has ranked Quicken Loans highest in the nation in customer satisfaction. And this year, for the first time, they've also ranked us highest in mortgage servicing. To learn more, call us at 800-QUICKEN. That's 800-QUICKEN, or visit us at quickenloans.com. Visit jdpower.com for award information. Important terms and conditions apply. Call us for cost information. Equal housing lender. License law 50 states. NMLS number 3030. Hospice of Marion County has an urgent need for volunteers to share a conversation with someone. Run errands, hold someone's hand. All you need is a willingness to help others. Our volunteers believe the blessings they receive far exceed the services they offer. Will you consider serving, caring, and making a difference? Call today, 873-7441. Hospice of Marion County, making more moments of life possible. 
Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Hi, Matt Wilkerson here, your mobile Verizon rep. But not just here, I'll deliver the phone to you in your home. While I'm there, I'll only sell you what you need and I'll personalize it to you. Want to have me get you connected? Then call me at 352-528-0020. I even offer unlimited home phone service for just $20 per month. Just call me, your mobile Verizon rep, at 352-528-0020. What are the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking? Will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Pozenet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch Planning for a Better and Safer Retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. So, what'd you think of Rand Paul in the um, in the interview? He's pretty good. Yeah, he was good. I, I mean, I I think like you know they're they're using sort of technicalities here. Did, mm-hmm. did are, do they have a credit risk in that way? No, but isn't it worse that you can print four point five trillion dollars? Right. Like that's a much worse uh, a much worse idea. And, and the idea that you brag about a five hundred billion dollar profit when you can print four point five trillion, shouldn't you at least be making four point five trillion? Uh, yeah, I mean, I would think if uh, I could print money, yeah. I have a four point five trillion dollar profit. <laughs> that's a great point. Why not print a nine hundred trillion? Okay, you know what? Then? You know what? Maybe I have a four point four nine 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 percent profit because I got to pay for the paper and the ink. That's true. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And the electricity to run the printing press. But I've got pretty close to a you know four point five trillion <laughs> uh, dollar profit. Back in just a second. the Glenn Beck Program. The Blaze Radio Network. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. Scores of people are being tested for exposure to a superbug in Los Angeles where medical experts are grappling with an outbreak believed to have killed two people. UCLA discovered the outbreak late last month while running tests on a patient. That's when they realized a specialized endoscope, one that's inserted down the throats of nearly half a million patients every year, may have transferred the CRE bacteria from patient to patient. Fox's Will Card, the CDC, says most healthy people are not at risk. Third day of defense testimony in the American sniper murder trial attorney has been calling friends and family members. Wednesday, jurors heard from the ex-girlfriend of Eddie Ray Routh, who said... Routh behaved erratically in the months before he shot and killed U.S. Navy SEAL Chris Kyle and his friend, enduring spates of silence, staring at the walls, and even frantic moments in which he was convinced he would die. Fox Radio's Evan Brown, Fox News. We report, you decide... It is time to refresh and renew for 2015 at thecompanystore.com. Our semi-annual white sale is going on now. From our famous lacrosse down comforters and pillows to the finest quality sheets, towels, and bedding basics, receive 20% off your entire order, free shipping, and up to 70% off clearance items when you enter code RADIO15. That's RADIO15 for up to 70% off and free shipping. Thecompanystore.com, where quality has been known for generations. Thecompanystore.com, we're all about comfort. What's the secret to great business trips? Choice Hotels, where you'll find everything a business traveler needs, like a generous rewards program. And right now, choose Choice twice for two separate trips and get a night at no price. Stay for business at Choice Hotels and book now at choicehotels.com. Great endings begin here. 
Free night based on an 8,000 point choice privileges reward night at over 1,500 hotels. Valid 219.15 through 422.15. Requires registration in two separate qualifying stays. Other terms and conditions apply. Details at choicehotels.com. Where did you sit when the dust settled? Richard Petty goes back in front. They both spin. They're in the wall. Where did you sit when the tempers flared? And now it appears we may have a fist fight. Drivers and helmets. Or when standing ovation took on a whole new meaning. All the pit crews out on pit lane to salute Dale Earnhardt, who is... Well, from where we sit, this Daytona 500 is the chance of a lifetime. Because this is your final opportunity to experience the great American race from some of the classic seats that have witnessed some of the most famous moments in racing history and it's your first chance to say hello to the future in all new grandstands where fans will bear witness to all the legendary moments yet to come so where will you sit this february 22nd don't miss your one and only chance to experience daytona at a unique moment in history the daytona 500 sunday february 22nd to guarantee your seats call 1-800-PIT-SHOP or visit daytona500.com Join us on Saturday, March 7, 2015 for the second annual Habitat Strawberries Festival at the McPherson Government Complex. The goal of this festival is not only to provide a great time for families in Ocala, but to also raise funds to build a home for our family and our community and support Habitat for Humanity's mission to strengthen communities, build hope, and provide dignified housing solutions. Remember, Saturday, March 7, 2015 for the second annual Habitat Strawberries Festival at the McPherson Government Complex, which starts at 7 a.m. with breakfast. Guy Harvey Checking is now exclusively available at Gateway Bank. With Guy Harvey Checking, you will receive Gateway's premium checking account, plus several other Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation features, including membership to the Guy Harvey Hammerhead Nation, free Guy Harvey t-shirt, and an exclusive Guy Harvey debit card. At Gateway Bank, we will make a $50 donation to the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation for every new account open. This is just one more reason why people choose Gateway Bank. Sign up today for your exclusive Guy Harvey Checking account with Gateway. Details available at gatewaybankcfl.com, member FDIC. Hi, Danny Werfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Putting the local back into radio. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. W-O-C-A News. Variety. Information. Now. Keep your arms and legs on the inside at all times. Visit the W-O-C-A website at www.woca.com. The most trusted name in news, Fox News. Every half hour, only on 96.3 FM, 1370 AM, The Source. This is the Glenn Beck Program. There's really interesting audio here. Um, by the way, the death of privacy tonight at 5 o'clock. We've had uh, a Root special that you can still watch on demand now. It, it is really, really good. The Root of Big Brother. You really want to understand how we got here and what it all means? Watch the Root special. The birth of Big Brother. Then last night we had, also you can watch it on demand, we had the premiere of For the Record, which will show you that we have given up on uh, on intel from people. We're only now just collecting information. That's all we are. We just collect the information. The CIA is is a mess. We also, in that documentary last night on For the Record, we also made a record of the president's people at the CIA warning him about ISIS, warning him that they were religious zealots, warning him that they were about to start the caliphate, warning him that they were about to behead Christians and everybody else that stood in their way. And the White House said, we don't want that information. It doesn't fit the narrative. And rejecting all of that information. Tonight, the death of privacy and what you can do about it. Mark Cuban was quite clear um, yesterday. Do we have audio of him? I think it's just his printed word. Okay. 
Um, but he was quite clear and said this is uh, a real a real problem uh, on uh, it's going to f up net neutrality. Was mm-hmm. his exact quote? Well, <laughs> well not exact because I had to. <laughs> I was going to say that. I just shortened a little bit. Why would you say a letter? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> right. And having them oversee the internet scares the s out of me. Also, not a snakes a, a direct quote. Soup? No, n- no. Okay. Starburst? No. no. All right. Well, mm. we'll we'll work on that and try to get back to you on that. <laughs> um, also, Google came out yesterday and said what the FBI is trying to do with um, uh, with with more. Uh, what was it? Not wiretapping. And do I even have it here? You guys have that story? You see what Google said yesterday? The hacking power. Yeah, the hacking power. The FBI have hacking power. They said is a gross um, uh, is a gross shoot. Where do I have it? Uh, a gross overstep of the uh, Constitution, and said this is really, really dangerous. Monumental. Monumental <laughs> overstepping of the Constitution <laughs> and very dangerous. Wait, that's from. Google. That's from Google. <laughs> That's from Google. <laughs> the home of the monumental overstep. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Good. Meanwhile, Jeb Bush defends the NSA mass surveillance as hugely important. I don't know how this guy. It's I, one thing after another with him. One thing after another. Let's see. Uh, what are you? Uh, what are you for? You for tight border security? He's not. Nah. You for stopping the N- M- NSA, uh, uh, surveilling everybody? No. He's not. He's not. No. Uh, you're for... Uh, uh, you're for traditional educational uh, programs? Against Common Core? No, he's not. He's, he's not. not. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. You might as well vote for Hillary Clinton. Why would you vote for Jeb Bush? What are the Republicans even thinking? He is loaded up with dozens of uh, Bush and Bush, the other two uh, presidents and their advisors yeah. in foreign policy. I mean, it's it's a, it's an impressive team as far as credentials go. However, if you're if you're a big fan of what we've been doing uh, over the past few decades, uh, then maybe this is. You know, this seems exciting to you. Well, this whole thing is going to be about war. When it comes down to it, this is all going to be about war. You think? Yep. Now, you said you had this crazy idea several years ago that the 2008 election would wind up being about the economy. (laughs) I know. (laughs) That's so stupid. And you remember that? And everybody was talking about war. Yeah. And I said, don't don't even... And and man, I got so many phone calls from listeners saying, shut up, Glenn. Shut up. You're talking it down. And I'm like, it's not going to be a war. It's going to be all about the economy when it comes down to the election. Yep. And then you had John McCain as your candidate Mm -hmm. who himself admitted he had no expertise in the economy. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) Now, neither this did Barack one, Obama, but still, this at least he didn't say it. This one's all going to be about war. All going to mm. be about war. I hope you're wrong on that one. Oh, boy, do I ever. Yeah, okay. I hope I'm wrong, because this one well, is going to be a bad one. I don't know how you go with Hillary Clinton, if that's what, you're, if that's what your thing State? is, though. Come on. A no, former she Secretary sucks. of State. Yeah, and she was a miserable here's loser have, as Secretary of State. Here's what you have to get away Ooh. from. Let's listen, to, let's listen to Ed Henry yeah. yesterday questioning the White House spokesperson on why didn't you uh, say that they were Christians that were beheaded? We talked about the murder of 21 citizens. And I'm curious, why didn't you mention it was 21 Christians killed by Muslims? Is that relevant? Uh, it sure is, because the ISIL, uh, uh, the ISIL extremists who carried out this attack indicated that the reason that they were killing them wasn't just because they were Egyptian, but also because they were Christian. Stop it. So I just want you to hear this. What he just said was, the question was, why didn't you say that they were Christians? Is that relevant? Yes. Sure is. Very relevant because the ones who did the beheadings said they did it not just because that they were Egyptians, but because they were Christians. Mm -hmm. So they said the people who killed said they killed people because they were Christians, Mm -hmm. but he didn't include that. Next. So uh, and I think the president has been very clear no, he uh, that it is. <laughs> he keeps saying that when he has been nothing but unclear on all of this. And every day they will. I think the president's been very. You're the only one who thinks he's been clear. 
But they just keep repeating the lie, though, mm-hmm. and it works for them. Uh, you know, the president talked about this actually in his prayer breakfast uh, speech that he gave earlier. Yeah, he this sure morning, did. He, that there's a responsibility of people of all faiths to stand mm-hmm. up and speak out. Especially those Christians. When you, when individuals when try to use when you, faith, when you're involved in crusades, that mm-hmm. you you can't throw stones. If we should, if, if we could have, he was if clear we, about that. If we would have, Pat, if you just would have stood up during those mm-hmm. crusades, yeah, and said something, and said something, yeah. over a thousand years ago, then I'd have a right to say That's these right. guys are are Muslim, right? They're extremist Muslim, <laughs> right? But I don't have any right because no. I didn't. Yell. You didn't step up. I didn't say anything didn't to say King word King one. John, King Richard. That's none right. of them. I said none nothing to them. You're like, hey, Where was Pat Gray? He was silent. As King Richard marched, marched into Jerusalem. <laughs> Distort faith to try to justify an act of violence. Okay, now listen why, to this. Given that, why were you not clear on Sunday? It went out under your name. Why didn't you say 21 Christians were killed? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, Ed, I've, uh, I've tried to be clear here. Um, no, I, I can't account for uh, that specific line in the statement. I can't, I can't Wait, account for it. You, you can't I, account for your no, own I can't. line? No, I don't know what happened there. You, you, I don't you know what can't happened. account no, for you. I can't. I can't. I see. I can't. held responsible Who's, for what you do. No, I can't. Can you refer? Me to somebody I, no, on what you did. You'll or, have to talk to somebody else okay. about what I did. Right. I can't account for. Will that. you refer me to the State Department on Go what to the you State said? Department or the Pentagon? Can they maybe you account can talk for to it? the Pentagon about right. that. I have no knowledge of what I did. <laughs> <laughs> it's that bad. Well, wait, How do, do they the, do it? Do you have the rest? Yeah. Okay. Wait, been listen. Clear, now here's a good. Uh, good yeah, it's going to condemn good. this murder. Uh, the president was clear in the op-ed that was published yeah, today, and on a variety of occasions, I think have been pretty clear here that we condemn the outrageous killing of these Egyptian citizens because of their. Christian faith. Okay, yeah. And the last one, two days earlier. No, okay. Listen then to this. Go into something else. Oh, oh no, no, I didn't. No. I didn't include oh, that. Oh no, this is the best part. Oh, you. Oh. oh because he goes on and says, "Now, uh, I just want to ask you, uh, the uh, the killing uh, of the uh, Muslims in uh, North Carolina. You know that shooting. Okay. The president came out and said that it's wrong for anybody to be targeted because of their faith. Now." He goes on to answer and say, and he says, well, well, now, wait a minute. We don't know what happened in that. We don't know the motivation. Right. So why did the president feel it was necessary to say it was wrong to target someone? Well, this is a local issue. They're still investigating. Why is the president Again, talking about it then? Right. right. Why are you saying that it was a Muslim issue when you don't know it was a Muslim issue? Yet, mm-hmm. you do know because the people themselves that use the big, you know, the big switchblades that they had and lopped people's heads off, those guys did say that it was because of their Christian faith, and you chose not to say it there. Wow, but that's here, amazing. But here, you didn't say it. Now, now um, uh, uh, Ed Henry didn't push him on that, but it was glaring. Hmm. It was glaring. He's like, well, we don't know if that was. Right. You did know this one, and you chose not to say it. You don't know on this one, and you chose to. Why? Why? It's a great point. I don't. What is the wow. answer to this? This is so inexplicable. Know. Okay, so somebody know. told me this, and I think this is. I think this is accurate. Let's think out loud here for a second. Sure. Okay. Let's not. The president's not a Muslim. He's not a hater. He's not none of that. Right. Okay. His father and his stepfather were both Muslim. He grew up in Muslim countries. When he went to school, he claimed that he was a Muslim. And this is because that's the culture he was living in. Okay, not because he's a secret Muslim or anything like that. I know, but have you seen the decoder ring that he's wearing? Mm -hmm. Not because of any of that. Does he have a Muslim decoder ring? (laughs) You don't know it, does he? (laughs) Did you see the ring? He holds it up to the Quran. Oh my my gosh! And the letters start to glow. Oh Oh my gosh! Yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really cool. cool. But anyway, forget I said anything. (laughs) Um, uh, So he has, he has just like I do. And then you do too, whatever it is in your, in your life, you grew up, you had fond memories, you know, your family members were like that, et cetera, et cetera. You didn't grow up around a lot of Christians. You didn't grow up. So you come in and you see the people that you love and know under attack all the time. And you see the world from a different prism than us. Mm -hmm. You see America because you've been taught and raised your whole life. America's the bad guy. And they're racist and they're haters and they don't like anybody that's different than them, et cetera, et cetera. So you come into office, he, all he's doing is protecting 
what he has felt his whole life as a child. This is the faith of my family. I know what I know what Muslims are like. My father was a Muslim. I, my stepfather was a Muslim. They're not haters. They're not right. doing that. So mm-hmm. all he's doing is just standing up in defense of his father's faith. He's trying to be the one to hold up the banner. Dreams of his father to hold up the banner for Not his of, from yeah from um, so. so hold up the 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 belief from his father not for any other reason other than hey you know what my dad my dad's yeah I'm defending my we're dad. Muslim yeah I'm defending my dad yeah and they both were his dad and stepdad right we're both Muslim so he doesn't use the decoder ring no I don't think he <laughs> it doesn't glow anymore you have to hold it up to the light for a while yeah, uh, yeah. before that happens yeah you have to hold it up it only decodes birth certificates <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, let me uh, an alternate theory mm-hmm. to that uh, again just thinking out loud but this is something that uh, Major Garrett had reported on earlier you know a couple of years ago and we talked about it a couple times involved the decoder ring it does not involve the decoder ring <sighs> uh, they call it stray voltage which is a th- uh, it's a media concept that is real that the, the White House uses. I don't know if they're using it in this case, but the concept is that you intentionally uh, do things that cause media controversies. You intentionally say things that are uh, bound to create back and forth between the sides like this, where you, in, in this particular theory, you intentionally, inexplicably don't say Muslim terrorism so that everyone is only talking about whether you're saying Muslim terrorism not or the not. the actual issue. And not the actual issue. Yeah, it makes sense. And I, I, could it be that? That makes that, sense, too. That they're just... Yeah, it could be. Because it's so inexplicable. No one... They know no one thinks all Muslims are doing this. They know it. No, they know nobody thinks that. I'm not sure that he does. Maybe I'm not sure that he does. Remember, do. he went to church for 20 years with Jeremiah Wright. I'm not sure this guy, in his in Maybe his right. gut, can I can I give you a a, a third? This yes, to do with the deco- and again, I'm decoder just, I'm, yeah, no, 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 nothing to do with a decoder ring or anything creepy like Somebody that. Somebody have a decoder. Again, I'm just thinking out loud. Okay, he is a. Soviet agent who was raised. <laughs> <laughs> Everything he does uh-huh. is just misinformation or mm-hmm. disinformation. Uh-huh. Even though everything he does, mm-hmm. yeah, he's been trained his entire life okay. Okay. to right. give disinformation mm-hmm. to people. Right. Part of that is this: not saying uh, Christians were killed and yeah. not saying mm-hmm. right. Muslim extremists. Have you considered adding the decoder ring into this theory? I could, I could, but then that would make it silly, Chris. <laughs> That's there just yeah. to throw us off. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right, Pat. Yeah. Okay. yeah. okay. Here's our uh, sponsor this half hour. It is uh, Simply Safe. Watch how many people report that as an actual theory now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they will. Oh, you watch. They will. And Glenn Beck said nothing. <laughs> uh, simply safe. Um, your home is going to be protected around the clock. You're away from home. Your wife is there. Your kids are there. How comfortable do you feel? Now, you're not locked in a contract. How much stress is off your back? Most alarm companies will trap you. They prey on your love, your concern, and they lock you into a long-term contract, and you're stuck with them, and there's no way out. There's no freedom. Simply Safe is different. There's no long-term contracts, no commitments. You're free to start, stop, cancel at any time. Simply Safe. It's the way the home security system should work. It's the way home security systems work now and will work in the future. Everybody will be doing it this way. And it's half the price of other companies. 24-7 professional monitoring is $14.99 a month. That's the best value in home security. Round-the-clock protection. Exceptional savings. No long-term contracts. You're in charge. And you're safe. Simply safe. Go to simplysafebeck.com. Order now, get 10% off your security system. It's simplysafebeck.com. This is the Glenn Beck Program. The Blaze Radio Network.
Let me talk to you for a minute if you run a business, especially if you're hiring. It used to be that you would post a job in one place and hope for the best, but that's not nearly enough to find the right qualified candidates now. If you want to find the best perfect hire, you need to post the job on all of the top websites with ZipRecruiter.com. You can post your job to 50 plus job sites, including social networks like Facebook and Twitter, all with a single click. Find candidates in any industry, just one post, and watch your qualified candidates roll in to ZipRecruiter's easy-to-use interface. And with ZipRecruiter's premium traffic boost, you can get up to three times more candidates. Quickly screen applicants, rate them, and hire the right person fast. Find out why ZipRecruiter has been used by over 200,000 businesses already. And right now, you can try it for free. Plus, get 30% off your first traffic boost by going to ZipRecruiter.com slash Beck. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash Beck. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Beck. Are you tired of looking through glasses with scratched lenses? Or are your frames a little dated? Well, Ocala Eye is offering a sweetheart special that can solve that problem today. Now, through the end of February, Ocala Eye is celebrating Valentine's Day every day by knocking $100 off on any complete pair of frames and lenses purchased from any of Ocala Eye's five locations, including the villages. Pick from hundreds of designer frames like Kate Spade, Coach, Vera Wang, Maui Jim, and more. Then apply the Ocala Eye Sweetheart Special and knock $100 off whatever the cost. And if you live in the villages, don't miss our Optical Trunk Show at our office on Laurel Manor Drive on Saturday, February 28th. For more information, go to OcalaEye.com. Trusted doctors and proven technology. Just another way Ocala Eye is looking out for you. Real estate is the largest and most personal investment that any of us will ever make. Be sure to tune in Tuesdays at 10 a.m. when Bob Kennedy, owner of Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty, will be answering your questions and discussing real estate. So remember, that's Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Call 622-9622 with your questions. It pays to be an informed buyer or seller. This is news you can use from Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty and your friends here at WOCA. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that too. I need a new roof line and a new spoiler and a new Yep, and we can even do that too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. On air, online, in your pocket. Find out all the ways to listen at theblaze.com slash radio. Conference on extremism convened by the Obama administration in Washington this week includes leaders from Muslim groups focuses on U.S. cities uh, with large Muslim populations and involves foreign leaders struggling to avert radicalization of their Muslim communities. Mm -hmm. The president has gone to uh, lengths to avoid characterizing the ideology driving the Islamic State and other terrorist groups as religious extremism. He is, quote, trying to split religion from terrorism at the summit. Yeah, well, please. Uh, It's going to be, you know, religious people aren't terrorists. People are terrorists. Right. 
It's right. a complete opposite of the gun thing. Right. Exactly people right. don't kill people. Guns kill people. Right. So, right. come on. Right. <laughs> you to come on. When you're right, you're right. Pat. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you're right here. We should play that. He, he actually said... Not the gun part, but the other part. Yeah, yesterday. which is the opposite of his stance on guns. Yes. And uh, we'll play that coming up in just a minute. This is the Glenn Beck Program. The Blaze Radio Network. For many months, I've been talking now about Shave Secret, the shave secret that reduces nicks, cuts, and shaving rashes. Shave Secret conditions and moisturizes in one application, making your skin feel smooth and soft. Shave Secret's compact size also makes it perfect for traveling. Do your own research online. There are loads of five-star customer reviews. Robert from Indiana says, I can't imagine even using shaving cream again. I use a few drops on a wet face, and I get the closest, least irritating shave I've ever had. Aaron in Wisconsin, I'll never buy shaving cream again. I was skeptical at first, but soon joined the ranks of the many reviewers who love this product. The smell is subtle, yet invigorating, and Shave Secret should be in every man's medicine cabinet. Shave Secret. Secret. Good for men and for women of all ethnic groups. If you have a teenager starting out shaving, spare them the discomfort and start them out right with Shave Secret. Shave Secret. Available at Walmart Supercenters and online at ShaveSecret.com. Shave Secret. For the best shave ever. Texas Superfood Jingle, take number one. Texas Superfood. Well, it's a big old honk of country food. What was that? Isn't it some big old country food? No, it's made with 55 different fruits and vegetables picked at their peak of ripeness, and then they add nothing. Take two. Vegetize, yeah. Take 12. Now powered with unicorn tears. No, just say. Honest to goodness nutrition you can trust. Great. Made by a real wizard. Nope. Visit StartTexasSuperfood.com today or call us at 844-55-FRESH. Private mortgage insurance or PMI can cost you thousands. The Quicken Loans PMI Advantage is our lender paid mortgage insurance program. You see, we pay the PMI so you don't have to. PMI Advantage can give you more options more flexibility, and may save you thousands when you refinance. To learn more, call us at 800-QUICKEN. That's 800-QUICKEN, or visit us at quickenloans.com. Important terms and conditions apply. Calls for cost information. Equal housing lender. License law 50 states. And all. Good credits, bad credits. It's none of our business because we're not an auto dealer. We're not a bank. We're not your mother. We're OkellaForSales.com. Marion County's marketplace for cars, trucks, and SUVs. We've got thousands of sellers standing by to take your call. No middleman. But hurry, don't walk, don't run. Just sit down and log on to OkellaForSales.com. License and inventory change daily. Offer does not include dealer upcharge. Undercoating, rust proofing, factory surcharge, or delivery fee. See website for details. One of the most common questions those nearing retirement are asking, will I outlive my money? Retirement questions like these and many more will be answered every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. on planning for a better and safer retirement with hosts Francois and Julian Cozanet. Francois and Julian will help you put your retirement puzzle together. Catch planning for a better and safer retirement Saturdays at 9 a.m. on Ocala's News Talk, The Source 96.3 FM and 1370 a.m. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu, a deep freeze gripping the U.S. from the northern plains on east. At Chicago's O'Hare, it's going down in record books today as it went down to negative 8. 13 below in Aurora, with wind chills of minus 30. And that shatters record cold temps that were set back in the 1930s. Fox Radio's Jeff Manasso. In the Colorado theater shooting case, the judge saying jury selection is moving more quickly than expected, with the trial possibly beginning as early as May. And we're waiting to hear whether accused Boston Marathon bomber Johar Zarnaev will be granted a change of venue by a federal appeals court, which heard arguments a short while ago. The defense argued the jury poll in another city, Washington, D.C., would not be as personally connected to the marathon bombing. Prosecutors are pushing back, noting that as the jury selection process moves forward, potential jurors with strong opinions about Zarnaev's guilt are admitting them without hesitation. Fox's Molly Line in Boston. Fox News. We report. You decide. 
It is time to refresh and renew for 2015 at thecompanystore.com. Our semi-annual white sale is going on now. From our famous lacrosse down comforters and pillows to the finest quality sheets, towels, and bedding basics, receive 20% off your entire order, free shipping, and up to 70% off clearance items when you enter code RADIO15. That's RADIO15 for up to 70% off and free shipping. Thecompanystore.com, where quality has been known for generations. Thecompanystore.com, we're all about comfort. What's the secret to great business trips? Choice Hotels, where you'll find everything a business traveler needs, like a generous rewards program. And right now, choose Choice twice for two separate trips and get a night at no price. Stay for business at Choice Hotels and book now at choicehotels.com. Great endings begin here. Free night based on an 8,000-point Choice Privileges Reward Night at over 1,500 hotels. Valid 219.15 through 422.15. Requires registration and two separate qualifying stays. Other terms and conditions apply. Details at choicehotels.com. Are you tired of not using your home's outdoor space for entertaining or relaxation because of all the bugs and leaves? Consider adding a beautiful screen room or glass enclosure. We are Superior Aluminum and Design, a family-owned and operated business with 20 years' experience in the aluminum industry. And we are accredited by the Better Business Bureau. If you appreciate superior workmanship, call Superior Aluminum and Design at 817-8058 or visit us on the web at superioraluminumdesign.com. Guy Harvey Checking is now exclusively available at Gateway Bank. With Guy Harvey Checking, you will receive Gateway's premium checking account plus several other Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation features, including membership to the Guy Harvey Hammerhead Nation, free Guy Harvey t-shirt, and an exclusive Guy Harvey debit card. At Gateway Bank, we will make a $50 donation to the Guy Harvey Ocean Foundation for every new account open. This is just one more reason why people choose Gateway Bank. Sign up today for your exclusive Guy Harvey Checking account with Gateway. Details available at gatewaybankcfl.com, member FDIC. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Real estate is the largest and most personal investment that any of us will ever make. Be sure to tune in Tuesdays at 10 a.m. when Bob Kennedy, owner of Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty, will be answering your questions and discussing real estate. So remember, that's Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Call 622-9622 with your questions. It pays to be an informed buyer or seller. This is news you can use from Berkshire Hathaway Home Team Realty and your friends here at WOCA. Career Source Citrus Levy Marion brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9:30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. Let's give it up for old asphalt and a new pair of shoes. Let's give it up for a good rhythm meeting a sweet melody. For a church cookout under clear sky.